from general to specific. In academic writing, the general to specific order is a commonly used method when developing a paragraph or an essay. In this order, we move from a broad observation about a topic to specific details that support the observation. There are several ways for the specific ideas to be connected to the general idea, like a list, definition, spatial or chronological order. We examine each way. List. A list is a number of connected items or names written consecutively. When we list items, we need to use some keywords to indicate how they are ordered. Consider this example where items are thrown out of order. Let's try to order them. Example. A. Corn was also popped by first cutting the kernels off the cob, throwing them into a fire, and gathering them as they popped out of the fire. B. One method of popping corn involved skewering an ear of corn on a stick and roasting it until the kernels popped off the ear. C. In a final method for popping corn, sand and unpopped kernels of corn were mixed together in a cooking pot and heated until the corn popped to the surface of the sand in the pot. D. Native Americans have been popping corn for at least 5,000 years using a variety of different methods. To order them, we should focus on clue words. A. Clue word is also, which implies that a similar item is already mentioned. So A must come after a statement that talks about a list item. B. Clue words are one method, which implies that this is the first item in the list. C. Clue words are in a final method, so this sentence should be the last item in a list. D. A variety of different methods indicate a general idea. A through C talks about three specific ways of popping corn, while D is a general statement. So D should come first due to the order of moving from general to specific. Among the three items in the list, the order should be B, A, and C. A. The period from about 1650 until 1800 saw some excellent scientific and technical investigations of different designs. B. They revealed output powers ranging from about 1 horsepower to perhaps 60 for the largest wheels and confirmed that for maximum efficiency, the water should pass across the blades as smoothly as possible and fall away with minimum speed, having given up almost all of its kinetic energy. C. They also proved that, in principle, the overshot wheel, a type of wheel in which an overhead stream of water powers the wheel, should win the efficiency competition. D. Where would the sentence best fit? There was much debate on the relative efficiencies of different types of water wheels. The target sentence says people debate over the relative efficiencies of different designs of water wheels. So the sentence can serve as the general statement coming before list items. A talks about actual investigations of different designs of water wheels. B talks about some findings from the investigations. They refers to investigations. C talks about another finding from the investigations. B and C are specifics, so the target sentence should come at least before B. Now to determine between A and B, we should look at the content. A talks about actual investigations on debate, while the target sentence talks about speculative debates without any specificity. So following the principle of moving ideas from general to specific, we should place the target sentence before A. When placed before A, the target sentence serves as an introduction sentence about debates on efficiency, and A serves as a way to resolve the debate. So ideas flow naturally. Answer, A. 
Definition Specifics can be the definitions of terms used in the general statement. Example A. In normal science, the key theories, instruments, values, and metaphysical assumptions that comprise the disciplinary matrix are kept fixed, permitting the cumulative generation of puzzle solutions. B. For this reason, normal science is also called puzzle solution. C. By contrast, in a scientific revolution, the disciplinary matrix undergoes revision in order to permit the solution of the more serious anomalous puzzles that disturbed the preceding period of normal science. Target Sentence A mature science, according to Kuhn, experiences alternating phases of normal science and revolutions. The target sentence defines the notion of mature science in terms of the alternation between normal science and revolution. So we can expect that the definitions of normal science and revolution will follow. The target sentence should come before these definitions. A defines normal science. B follows A logically since B and A are chained by the words puzzle solution. C defines scientific revolution. A through C defines normal science and revolutions. Thus, the target sentence should come before A. Answer A. Z. Antoine Lavoisier, 1743 to 1794, is often called the father of modern chemistry, and by 1789 he had produced a list of the elements that a modern chemist would recognize. A. Some items, such as hydrogen and oxygen gases, were regarded as compounds by Lavoisier, although we now regard hydrogen and oxygen as elements and their gases as molecules. B. Other items on his list were remnants of the Aristotelian system which have no place at all in the modern system. C. For example, fire remained on his list, although in the somewhat altered form of caloric. D. Target Sentence Lavoisier's list, however, was not identical to our modern one. The target sentence says Lavoisier's list is different from the modern list. So we can expect that some details of the differences will follow after the target sentence. The target sentence should come before the differences. Z says Lavoisier created a list of elements. A talks about instances of differences in Lavoisier's list and ours. B also talks about differences in the list. B should come after A due to clue words, some, others. C is an example of the mistake mentioned in B, so C should come after B. A through C talk about the differences, so the target sentence should come before A. Answer. A. Spatial order. Spatial order is an organizational structure in which details are presented as they are located in space, from left to right or from top to bottom. For example, you want to describe the structure of the Eiffel Tower. You begin with a general statement like, the Eiffel Tower is divided into three sections. Then you proceed to describe the structure from bottom to top as follows. Example. The Eiffel Tower is divided into three sections. The lowest section of the tower contains the entrance, a gift shop, and a restaurant. 
The middle section of the tower consists of stairs and elevators that lead to the top. The top section of the tower includes an observation deck with a spectacular view of Paris. With this spatial order, readers can visualize the building clearly. Let's examine questions relating to the spatial order in the next episode.